babes and welcome back to another video so today's video i feel like a lot of people on instagram ask me this question like i'm just gonna straight up answer them like why on earth would i just kind of straight up answer you guys like as much as I love y'all, like y'all got to do some things for yourself. So today's video is literally all about my nude collection, which is essentially my brownie batter collection. Um, I did this one specifically for the browns. I might do one for the pinks as well, but this is literally just me experimenting with pigments. Like this is literally what this was. This is how I created my entire brownie batter collection. And this is all where it starts is literally just you experimenting. So it's not something I can just like, it's not one answer of, oh, how do you, how did you make these pigments? Or how do you get your lip glosses so pigmented? It's literally just me experimenting. So without further ado, I kind of want to definitely get into this video. Um, one of the major things that I'm going to break down to you guys before I get into this video is that I made every single color in this video using only two things. Y'all may be asking me, what are those two things? So anytime that you make a nude lip gloss, I highly recommend you use some form of pigment. Or if you want your lip gloss to be pigmented, use a lip pigment. So people always ask me, how do you get your lip glosses pigmented? Where do you get your pigments from? All this stuff. Like, I'm not, bro, I'm not here to, you know, like, what, do, you know, what am I here for? So, um, if you want your lip glosses to be pigment, use a liquid lip pigment. Mika's won't really give you that pigmented look unless your lip gloss is a little bit thicker. Like, if your consistency of your gloss is thicker. I need to set up for my freaking filming area, guys. I'm literally on my knees and it freaking hurts. But, um, yeah, so if you have a thicker lip gloss formula, then Mika's will actually show up with more of a pigment. But if you don't, if you have more of a thinner formula, you'd have to, like, use a whole bunch of Mika to make your glosses pigmented. Whereas a lip pigment is pigmented in, in like, in itself. So in this entire video, I usually just use a chocolate brown color um, pigment as well as white pigment. And then you can literally create the array of shades that you can make with those two color combinations is absolutely insane. And as you guys see in this video, I create my three brownie batter batter um, lip glosses from just literally two colors. Like that's all I used. So I'm going to show you guys swatches first. This is my number one seller right now. Freaking eyelashes in my eye. I feel like I'm always a mess. Okay. So yeah, this is my, this has been my number one seller right now. So I'm gonna show you guys some swatches. This is my favorite. This is Toffee. So Toffee is like a light brown, but she's not just a light brown. She's like, I think she's perfect for like a full face of makeup. So let me show you guys Toffee. Well, look at how ashy. Yes, Ash. I'm literally fighting my freaking phone for storage. I cleared so much shit and it's still not sufficient. Anyway, so this is Truffle Butter. She's more of my sheer, no, not even sheer. She's just more of like a, a skin tone brown, if that makes any sense. But she's uber glossy, as you guys can see. Uber glossy. Yeah, like this sun, I don't like how the sun's playing with my swatches right now. But there's swatches on my website at www.thishantacollection.com. And lastly, but it seems to be everybody's favorite, not mine, because mine's toffee, but it seems to be everybody's favorite. I'm going to show you guys Coco Kisses. So if you guys want a pigmented, like a, a bold lip, this is what I'd recommend, which is Coco Kisses. Look at how dark she is. Look how pretty she is. And she's like my chocolatey brown color. She literally smells like chocolate. If you guys want it for wholesale, you make sure to scent her as chocolate. But if you just get her normally, like how I have her, she already smells like chocolate. Like she smells amazing. And all my glosses, like I always say, naturally enhance your lips. So it not only does it make your lips look extra freaking juicy and glossy, they're super long lasting, so. If you haven't shopped luxury, I don't know what y'all are doing. Look, y'all see this high shine, like high shine always. So if you haven't shopped luxury, shop now at www.shantycollection.com. And without further ado, Shanti babies, enjoy this video of me making my brownie batter collection. Bye guys. <laughs> 